everybody, Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios and today we're going to paint this very, very cute volleyball. Hmm. Hold on a second, we can flip it so you can read it. I very, very cute volleyball. Maybe you can't, yep, you can read it. Okay, and it reads bump, set, spike, repeat. Very cute. This time of year, we get a lot of requests for volleyball um, parties. And I thought, well, if somebody takes their kit to go, maybe this video would be helpful. So I just have some tape and do the tape trick. I need a little clip at the end of my tape trick. Okay, so I'm gonna take the bump, the set, the spike, the repeat and the two hearts and they are in there they're just really small there they are oh, there's a big one in the middle for the big hearted kids and then the what i love about this is that the net and the volleyball are all one piece so if your kids love uh volleyball this this is where you have a volleyball team this is a good one for you so i am going to take some brown and some gold, and I'm pretty sure that's Anita's. Man, she doesn't. She doesn't really. Um, maybe it's like Victoria's Secret, and it's really a guy. But Anita's doesn't really dig deep for the names of their paint, so it's brown most likely. And I have some gold. My favorite is a Sargent's from Amazon. And one of these days, I'll have a link for you to make it easy. Load my bouncer and take some off. So if your kids are painting this at home. That's a little yellow. If they're painting this at home and they don't have one of these, a foam brush, one of the chip brushes, all those are very helpful. There we go. I just like these ones specifically for lives because then I get in and then we can just watch paint dry, you guys. All right, so hopefully you had a good Monday yesterday. If you noticed, I've upticked my live as well. Yes, I started feeling better, so I am back to trying to do lives three times a week, which are a great way for me to get to know y'all and hang out with you guys. And then there's a resource for people that want to paint this, but they don't know how to get started. Okay, here we go. So that was really quick. There's a little gold, there's a little brown, and it won't dry as yellow, I believe, as it is now. So I'm just gonna toss my, nope, I'm gonna use the back side. So your kids can use paint brushes on these. Um, just know that there may be some oozing over the sides of the um, pieces of the wood over here by the sides and they're dark right now. I like them dark because then I don't have to paint them. So I try not to press too hard with a sponge brush. So if my background is, okay, let's go ahead and paint the net first. You saw how quick that was. You could paint it more than one time. And if your kids don't want the lettering that's on it, they could paint the back and then they could paint their name. They could personalize it any way they wanted to. Well, volleyballs are pretty much any color anymore, but when I was a kid, they were white. And if you were lucky, you got more than the black lettering. Oh, I forgot, I had my hair up and I forgot to take it down. Um, oh well, you guys get this version. Um, if you were lucky, you got the blue lettering and then the coal neon colors didn't come until my kids were playing volleyball. And volleyball is a very competitive sport. If you didn't know, there's still some clubs that play for fun, but typically if your kids are playing club, it's expensive, people, it's expensive. And Sydney didn't get really interested in volleyball. I mean, she played at Covington, um, their Parks and Rec, which was a great place to start. It really was. She played there forever. And then she um, played in seventh grade as a, 
and she got zero time as a alternate. And then she did at that time show interest in joining a club and we had to make the very difficult decision that honestly, she isn't gonna play in college and all the other club girls had been in club for a very long time. And you might not agree with us, but we just said, hey Sid, you're not gonna play club. We'll keep finding fun places for you to play. Oh, hold on. So that was our parental decision as small business owners and we were really busy. I almost feel like I should have gone maybe silver on that ball because you could do any color you want. It's your volleyball, any color. What you're gonna notice right away is that the wood's gonna show through I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you're joining, say hi. Tell me where you're watching from, I love that. Tell me if you have a kid that's in volleyball or not. Maybe you're just hanging out and you're slightly bored today and so you're like, what's Kelly Sue doing? She's been doing a lot of stuff lately. And so I'm trying to get some of these projects out of the way so we can do some, you know, go down to Hobby Lobby and grab a couple interesting things. So these are designs we have. I'm gonna paint the sides the railing silver. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna paint my net a different color. Clean that up. So what color should I paint the net? I was thinking one of my favorite colors and you know what it is. <laughs> so tomorrow I drive to King County for my classes there, my fundraiser with Lake Wilderness Elementary School. Super excited about seeing all my friends. And if you're hanging around Maple Valley, stop in at Vintage Vino, say hi. Love to see ya. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my favorite teal, which is Bahama Breeze. Nope, <laughs> can't be that much of a favorite if I don't know what it is. It's Deco Art. It's the Americano brand, Americana brand, and it's Bahama Blue. And man, I know, I use this poppy for everything. It's kind of like that hot sauce commercial. I'll put that beep on everything. This or just the um, peacock. The peacock is pretty too, also. Decisions. And that's what happens when I don't pre-make a um, project, but you know what? product and then I'm like a robot and I'd rather it be a little bit more organic than that. Do -do. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to try to remember to clean that side out later. I'm going to go ahead and get, get me some of that Deco Art Peacock Teal. I love that one. And I know if Donna's watching, she loves Mermaid Teal almost as much as me. She told me the other night. And I need to find out if I can buy mermaid tail in a larger container. I have to talk to my deco art rep. I'm glad I went a little darker. Look at that. Super fun. I don't have any oozing off the sides. My paint's liquid enough. What do I mean by that? I mean, paint comes out of the container pretty thick, maybe really thick, depending on how long it's been sitting around on the shelf. Deco Arts Peacock Teal doesn't get to sit on the shelf very long. And then as it gets close to the bottom, I add a little water. And that's what I'm seeing there is I put a little water in and so it's a little bit more friendly to use with a sponge because it, um, it's going on really quick, it's going on really smooth, and it's not oozing down my sides. Now you could paint the sides any stinking color you want. Really, you could. I'm gonna probably go back, was this silver? It was silver. In a little bit, I'm gonna go back to silver. So how in the world did I paint? Oh, I know what I did. I used the silver and then I used or I use the white and then I use the silver. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go back onto my white, it's ready for another coat. So this is what's happening. Let me go like this. I use too much paint and it's going down the side, but it is inside. So I may not address that. Remember, there's a couple things we can do when we have paint on the edges. We can ignore it, bend there. <laughs> um, we can um, go in and carry that same paint color over or we can, if, you, if we like that charred edge, we can go in and paint it brown. So a couple things we can do. Hope is not lost. It's just paint. We love paint because we can just get in there and fix her up any way we want. So if I'm not seeing your comments, which I may or may not be, I had to do some updates and I did, but I don't know that they helped. Um, then I will, as soon as I'm done recording, what I'll do is I will get in there and I will answer you. So this is our 12 inch, what I consider our kid's size. I'm actually going to probably pick up a foam brush at this point. Um, our kid's size, I, or our desk size. So yeah, we have hundreds of, of designs. Just check out the website. Um, what's great about the desk? size is, is, you know, you can always put it on a stand. If you don't get the stand from us, just head on down to the Dollar Tree and get a little stand. Or you can put magnets on the back or Velcro. And if you're sitting next to a file cabinet or on your wall, you can just trade these out. Goodness gracious. Tell your kids keep your hands clean. You can just trade them out anytime you're happy to do that. Or anytime you're bored with what you got, maybe. Here we go. I might have to touch that up. So I consider this either the cubicle size or the kid's size. And what I love about it is it's the size. So they're perfect for me to paint for a live and I'm not utilizing a lot of space. So this one here, if you share the video, Tell me you shared the video. We'll send you the finished piece unglued. Why do I want to do it unglued? In case you want to paint over it. If you have a kid or whatever. So I'm going to send it to you. If they want to make changes, have them paint over it. Um, maybe you want it. Maybe you're, a, maybe you're a famous volleyball player and you're watching. Probably not, but maybe. Um, then... We'll pick somebody this week to win this and we'll send it to you free of charge. And that just helps us share the love. And then I don't have a stack of craziness. Or at least I'm not adding to my stack of craziness. That's what I'm gonna say. And um, easy, easy peasy to win. We're gonna actually pick our last week's winner of the Jeep. What was the other one? Was it the rain boots? Today. And then I'm gonna get them out when I get back from King County. So they'll get in the mail on Friday. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. It's easy to win, you just share. Tell me you shared, so I know you're in the contest. We are super low tech. We write the names, throw them in a hat. Have one of my kids, check it out. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. So hopefully you're staying nice and healthy. We did our second round of COVID back in, oh, it was in February. I had a surgery planned and I almost didn't get to it because of the COVID. So I'm wearing my shirt. Baby, it's COVID outside. I should be saving this for like a vintage shirt, but you never know. I'm just using it as a paint shirt today. So guys, can you see that? So I have a white ball, it almost looks silver. I have silver sides. And then I have Peacock Teal from Americano. They come in two ounce containers too. I'm gonna get you guys a discount code or something and um, then you guys can order and get a discount. 
Michael's is kind of hard to deal with sometimes. So maybe I'll look on Amazon. Or I have other places, I have other places I use. Maybe the De Deco Art website. I'm gonna go right into that silver one more time, but I have a smaller bopper. What am I gonna call that? I'm gonna call him George. Just to do the posts one more time. When you use the sponge brush, it's like using, or it's like painting multiple very thin layers, very thin. So this is almost done, guys. When you use the right stuff, it gets done pretty quick. I have to paint my words. And I've been thinking about telling John don't etch the words on the wood, but then kids really like to know where to put things. I don't know, can you guys see that where it's etched? So we know exactly where to put the words. I don't know, what do you think? Keep the words, don't keep the words. Okay, so I want to paint my little hearts. Stay. And if you guys are in Spokane, we are down at the Ponderosa tonight. Great place. Love them. Okay, so my hearts. Um, I would recommend that if your kids are painting these and they're on a team, that they use some of their school color or their team colors. Um, you know, to show team spirit, specifically if this is a team builder, um, you know, like an art project team builder kind of thing. And I have, I literally have two volleyball ones coming up. But if this is just something fun for you and you're an ex-coach or whatever, and I don't play volleyball, believe it or not, um, I'm going to just make myself happy with the... That's kind of, you know, like sometimes red can be kind of orangey. Um, I'm just going to make myself very happy with the colors I chose. So this one's Santa red. Tuscan red is normally my go-to. Again, this is, again, this is um, Deco Art. Okay, so sometimes when this happens, when you're squeezing out the paint and it looks like a gel explosion, it's separated, just shake it up. It can happen. I don't always use my little guys because I have so many containers of paint for paint parties. So many, but that's not the case for everybody. You know what would have been really cool if you did a crackle effect on the fence to make it look more woven or what have you. Okay, so I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna end up with pink if I do that. So I have a, I have a round one. Oh, I have a, I have yesterday's makeup sponge. And so you can just trim it off if you wanted to. Just get multiple uses out of these bad boys. These are great for kids to paint with. If they get it, sometimes they use it one time and they disposable nation, right? And we wanna get a, we wanna get a little bit more out of our art supplies. Took no time at all. Done. Definitely gonna use some glitter and glitter glue. Should I do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be very traditional on the heart, guys. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be red with some glitter and then maybe I'll do some brush strokes to make it interesting. And so that's a time suck. That's where all your time is going to go. If you're doing this, um, if you're one of our wholesale people and you're doing this for a party for yourself, this is gonna be no time. The net's gonna be no time. It's, the word's probably no time at all. It's the personalization that really can be the time suck. So make sure that you plan and save yourself a little bit of time for that. Okay, the bump, set, spike, repeat. I want to use colors that I like. Um, I love lime green, but I want I want to make sure it's going to showcase nicely with the dark background. So I'm I know I'm going to use some lime green. You know what? 
perfect time. I have a container that's been sitting here with no love in it whatsoever. So, and I have my deco art, this green, and I forget about using it because it's not, it's not in a container. So don't worry, I'm gonna go in after that very soon, after the rest. So it is, oh, it's Craft Smart. You don't have to use fancy, fancy paints when you're painting on wood. So this is, what color are we gonna call this? Apple Tart. Now, they put a little bit of thinking into their names. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip this over. I have a clean spot. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my repeat definitely in this apple tart. Kind of saucy. <laughs> apple tart for the bottom. I think it's gonna really show well. So I gravitate towards cool colors. If you didn't notice, hey, what are cool colors, guys? Those are just colors that are on the cool side. They remind you of the color wheel. They remind you of water, uh, blues, purples, teals, greens, and any color in between, like if you color mix those. So let me show you what the repeat's gonna look like. I love it. But then that, that leads me to a really good question. Do I want all of my volleyball pieces to be exactly the same. So I'm just gonna drop that at the bottom. There's nothing wrong with it, right? I can do, I can just do it very plain Janie and keep everything that color because I think it showcases really nice. So since I have it out and I have my sponge prepped, I'm just gonna go for it. A little on, a little off. Just, wow, so quickly. So I don't know whose team colors would be teal and Seahawk green, apple tart. <laughs> um, maybe tell me your team colors. Boom. That was super quick. So I technically have all of the components painted. Oh, here's my water bucket. I'm gonna put everything back in my water container, let it soak. And I am going to hit my heart one more time. Add some. There we go. My little guys. So now it's a matter of what am I going to do to personalize it and what am I going to do to glue it in place? So a couple things if you're if you're doing this at home and you're gluing, you got some you have some glue options. You can um, Okay, so you can go to the dollar store and you can get their wood glue super glue. Something to keep in mind, it is not super glue and it's a slow drying wood glue, but it really holds once you have it in place. So you would have to apply it and weigh your piece down. So for goodness sakes, make sure they're very, very dry. You can also use a craft glue such as I have mine already, E6000, can you guys see that? And or the Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. These are both two ounces. They're like $3.99 at $3.99 and $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. I know because I was there just yesterday. And then we are trying a new product. So those are great with the exception. They grip pretty quick within 20 seconds or there's, you know, some grip and within 12 hours, it's cured. So that means there's playing time and you can go home and you can weigh it down and you still have time for that to happen. And then yesterday I pioneered trying this tight bond and it is quick and thick multi-surface glue. I've only been able to find it so again, tight bond, quick and thick, multi-surface glue. I've only been able to find it at Lowe's so far. 
It is not at Home Depot. I again checked, I went to two Home Depots last night. I again checked last night. Um, but what you can do is fill a two ounce bottle with a, with a lid thingy and then um, fill a couple of those if you're, oh, I've been looking for these plates. If you have a team party or a get together and you're doing multiple of these. What did I like about these? So what I don't like about these is they are a high gloss. Meaning when, when you press your piece down and it oozes a bit, you're going to have a different sheen where the glue oozed out and that can be disappointing. Um, let's say you had too many glasses of vino or whatever and you just didn't catch it or the light where you're painting it just wasn't great. It can be a little disappointing. What you can do to get around that, let it all dry and use a different sheen, either a satin or a high gloss to spray your board and then make it kind of uniform. That's the best trick I have for that, other than just, you know, don't over glue. And then this one so far, okay, I did one, I did one yesterday, I don't need to pull it out. I did the llama yesterday and it did not, where it eked a little bit, I intentionally let it eke, it did not have a sheen to it at all that I noticed, like I didn't see um, any place that I was disappointed. So, oh, I did use it on the Happy Easter sign for my wagon yesterday, and I don't see any spots where it oozed, primordial ooze, um, that I'm not happy with. So, yay, we may have a winner, winner chicken dinner. A um, couple thoughts. It does grip pretty quick, but for larger pieces or pieces like this, I wanted to show you this. This is just a natural wide product of painting wood. Can you guys see that spring? Wing! Which seems very appropriate <laughs> for the volleyball net. Um, what you have to do is put this on. And you don't have to outline everything, guys. It's not kindergarten. Just, you know, put some dots here and there. Place it on a paper towel to take a little bit extra off. Put this where you want it. And then you're going to need to weigh it down cookie sheet, a couple bottles of vodka, or pineapple juice, if, if you guys just don't live in a, you know, fun family like I'm in. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I just want to lay this out. Um, now that everything's dry, we talked about glue. We talked about you can win this one. I'll send it to you free of charge. I'm not going to glue it because I want you to be able to change colors if need be. Okay, I'm gonna actually glitter that heart. And then, I should glitter all of them, but I don't like to do things super traditional. So I'm just gonna glitter the center one and I'll show you how I do it. Super cute. So you can see because this isn't weighed down, you don't see the hearts as well. I'm gonna just real quick grab a cup or not. Grab my glue, and do I have red glitter? Please tell me I do, up here. It seems I have every color, but yeah, I got some. Here's a cup. So this is our number one question we have in our studio, or online studio, is how do you make that awesome glitter glue? Okay, here you go. So we use glitter glue it's the glue for the glitter is what I mean. And it is Craft Smart Clear Glue. I use so much of it, I buy it in the half gallon, but you can just buy a very small container. You're gonna put a little glue, a dot or two of water if it's thick. Okay, that was way too much. Boom. And then you're gonna just shake in your glitter and I kind of like this because it's a pinkish type of um, glitter. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to get close. I'm just going to stir that up. Can you see, guys see how amazing that is? It's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to paint that on. At first, it'll be super high glossy. It'll dry with a more glossy sheen than the paint. That's, it's not even a term. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. I like to make up 
words more glossy. Okay, here we go. Let me get a little closer. Can you guys see? And then I wouldn't advise anybody to shake the glitter on because it's not going to stay. So that's why glitter is uninvited to the party all the time because it's a messy participant. So if we want to invite glitter to the party, let's put it in a suspension. Teachers, I'm talking to you and moms who like things just so. You took the glitter from your kids because it, it needed to be uninvited. I totally get that. But now you can invite it back to the party. Yeah, woo! And um, everyone's happy. I think you'll be happier too. All right. So I just, I should have waited to let that dry, but I didn't, and that's okay. This cleans up really well. Just go ahead and clean out your paintbrushes. I typically don't use soap unless it's really necessary, and then just a little squirt of something gentle. Okay, and then you can do some personalization in the letters and so forth. So let me show you what the final result is for this volleyball. It reads bump, set, spike, and repeat. Remember, you can personalize these any way you want with your kids or their team. They can do it themselves. It's a pretty easy design, and they would have just a ball putting this together. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll come back and answer because I'm not seeing any um, comments right now. Um, if you wanted to win this one, just share. Tell me you shared, and next week we'll pick out a winner. We'll send this to you free of charge, no shipping, but it's not going to be glued in case you or your kid wanted to repaint it the way you want and not the way I did it. So thanks for watching today, and I'll do a real quick reel, so watch for that too. Bye, guys.